In the last video, I showed how to add Kirky, the theme customizer toolkit to a WordPress theme. In this video, I want to go over how to add some options really quick. So if you go to uh, Kirky, you go to all these different controls, you can actually go to this control sheet. You can see all the different things that you can add to the customizer so it can help you, you know, customize and uh, help users customize their theme. So in this tutorial, I'm going to go over their example and add it to our, Word th our WordPress theme. And you can kind of see how it works in action. So uh, right up here, there's this message that they have a underscores fork. Uh, underscores is a, a the start of the same starter theme that I'm using. So if we go into here, uh, go into INC and go into customizer, you can see right down here uh, they have the code to add some settings for typography so you can change the body and uh, also the headers. So if we go over to my theme files, which is I'm currently using my Bootstrap 4 starter theme called Strap Press. If we go into INC, we go to Customizer, pretty much have the same code here up top. So what I'm going to do is just grab the, the Kirky options here and add them. So just from here down, copy this and paste that in there. I'm going to get rid of this prefix that they added on here because I'm just going to be using Kirky throughout my theme and I probably you know once I get going I want to change this option name to you know maybe something like you know your your theme prefix so strap press theme or whatever copy that put it there put it there so if you read over their documentation Goes, goes over how to, you know, first the configuration, what you want to add this. This is, you have to add this one time, and it's just pretty much your option and what, what kind of option type you want to use, either theme mod or uh, option. Uh, you can kind of read over these in the WordPress codex. Theme mod is just a wrapper of option, but it gives you a lot more benefits, so I recommend using theme mod. And then other than that, it's just adding the fields and adding panels and sections. And as I move forward and create more tutorials on developing themes, we'll add more of these fields and sections and panels. But right now, just to give you a quick overview of how this thing works, let's save that. And then once we go into our dashboard, go to Appearance, Customize, see that we have this new section up here called Typography. And we have the body and then the headers. So we can go in here and change it to whatever we want. You see that it automatically updates over here. And they'll change the font size. Also grab the headers to whatever we want. And it's pretty cool that it changes in this live preview over here. So once you save and publish that, and we reload the front end of our site, you'll see that we have some changes here. And if you inspect the page, or actually you can just view the page source. You can find where uh, Kirky automatically puts this uh, these styles in your theme for you. You can see right here that it's inlining these styles for us and automatically putting it into the uh, header of our theme. So if you don't like that you can see here that it automatically has this output and you can see that it's targeting the body and then this output down here is automatically targeting you know the header tags so you, you can customize this and use it this may not be something that you want your theme users to be able to do it, to uh, you know customize the body copy but you know a lot of the premium themes out there do allow this so something to think about another thing you want to do if you copy their example code is also change your text domain you know in, in my case it would be strap press now I want to go through here and change all those text domains so my theme will be translation ready so that's a quick tutorial on uh, how to implement some options from the Kirky framework or the toolkit. Uh, as we move forward and we start developing more themes, we'll add some more panels and sections so you can see how to use some of the other options. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comment section below or reach out.